Mr. Robert Fisk, um, I would like to ask you, in your website, there is a 21 picture for you, uh, and the picture number seven, uh, 11, showing you with blood, without glasses, and with a lot of bandages. Can you, can you tell me something about this? Oh, yes. Um, on uh, November 18th, uh, 2001, I was um, on my way to Kandahar, and um, my car broke down among a group of Afghan refugees whose, um, whose families had just been killed by an American uh, B-52 bomber. I was the first Westerner they'd seen since uh, the deaths of their families that same day. And I became for them a symbol of the killers of their families and they began to smash stones into my face, smash my glasses. At the end there were about 50 of them attacking me. Uh, in the end, I remember what a Lebanese man had said to me during the Lebanese Civil War, if you're in danger, whatever you do, don't do nothing. So I started bashing them in the face, and they moved back for a moment, and then a, a Muslim uh, priest, a Maulawi, clerical man, took me by the arm. I couldn't see him probably because I had blood in my eyes, and led me away. And, uh, Eventually, I managed to have the wounds treated, but I had blood pouring all down me. The picture was, uh, was when I was cleaned up. It was much worse originally. Uh, you interviewed, you are famous for interviewing Bin Laden three times. If you got the chance to ask him one more question, what would you ask him? Well, what I'd say was, you know, you call your dead fighters martyrs. Killers martyrs. Do you call the people in the World Trade Center martyrs? Or are they just collateral damage to you? And I think the other main question one would ask is, is it worth it, given that the war he, Osama bin Laden, launched against America, and now we know 650,000 dead in Iraq, okay, the Americans, the British must be held responsible for what has happened to the Iraqis, but they linked it up with bin Laden. They made the false connection with Al-Qaeda and Saddam. Without 9-11, they couldn't have done that. What about all the dead of Afghanistan, the chaos in Afghanistan now, and the huge drug output in Afghanistan? You know, at the beginning of 2001, the U UN was saying that um, drug output from Afghanistan was down by 94%. Um, that is a significant figure. Um, so that's the questions I put to Bin Laden. Was it worth it, really? However ruthless you are, whatever you want, was it worth it in terms of human life? God, quote, the most merciful, unquote. Is that a five? And my final question to you, what is your advice for a new um, journalist out there uh, in the wild, as you, as you call it sometimes? Write for a paper that will print exactly what you write. Have the, have the trust of your editor, make sure he trusts you, and challenge power. Challenge power always, especially when it goes to war, especially when it uses lies to do so and it's going to kill people. Amira Hassett, a very fine Israeli journalist, summed up the job of a foreign correspondent very well. She said, monitor the centers of power, challenge authority. And that's what our job should be. Mr. Robert, thank you so much. You're welcome.